Hi, I'm Maggie. Welcome to Experiments in Crafting. Uh, today I've got a finished corner to corner blanket here and I am going to be putting a crab stitch border around the edge. Crab stitch is also known as reverse single crochet um, and that is because it is worked just like a single crochet but instead of working from right to left you are going to be working from left to right. Um, this is just my finished uh, blanket here and it doesn't have any sort of border on it yet. Um, it's a little bit easier, at least in my opinion, to crab stitch into a row of single crochets or into a row of double crochets. And so I have some double crochet edges here, but then I have these chain threes. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a single crochet border all the way around my blanket and then I'm going to start crab stitching. So you don't have to do that. You can crab stitch directly into the edge of a blanket, but just for my own ease, I'm going to crab stitch into single crochets. So I'm gonna do that. For this blanket, I'm going to put one single crochet into the top of each double crochet and two single crochets into each chain three space. Um, and that should make a nice even border all the way around. So I'm going to do that and I will come back when I'm ready to start crab stitching. All right, so I've got my single crochet border all done. Um, on the sides where you're working into the bottom of stitches, um, there is a little loop that you can just stick your single crochets into. And this is part of the reason that I like to do a single crochet border first because the crab stitch is a little bit tricky and this gives a nice base to work into rather than trying to work into loops and into chains and all sorts of craziness. Now I have a nice uniform uh, single crochet border with all the tops of the stitches uh, that are nice and easy to work into. In my corners, uh, I worked three single crochets into each corner um, and then I still worked the right amount of stitches before and after the corner. So even though I put three here, I still worked the two for the side of a chain three, and I still work the one right before it. Um, that just gives me a nice round corner uh, so that I don't get the blanket folding in on itself or get like a wavy pattern on the edge. If you put too many stitches, it'll start to pucker. So with that said, I am ready to start my crab stitch border. So I'm just going to start right here. I'm going to start with a stitch after the corner, just because it, uh, it'll be e a little bit easier. And actually, I'm going to start on this side because we're going to be working this way. Uh, generally, you would work this way as you crochet, but since the crab stitch is a reverse single crochet, we're gonna work along this top edge here. So I'm gonna use this dark blue as a border if you had enough of the same color or if you were going to just be continuing on, you wouldn't have to uh, join. You could just continue working from where you ended your single crochet border. But I'm gonna change colors here. So I'm just gonna pull that up, make sure that I've got the right end of my yarn, and then just a uh, slip stitch here. And here comes the tricky part. So. When you do the crab stitch, you are going to tip your hook, work it into your next stitch, draw up a loop, and so you kind of have this twisted uh, stitch going on here. Yarn over and pull through the two. And you won't see the stitch take shape until you do a few of them, but you're going to just sort of work a single crochet backwards and it's it's really kind of tricky and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got it down, it's not very difficult. So just keep going along here. So there's my next stitch. I'm gonna tip my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. And you can see this, the way the crab stitch works is it kind of looks like a swirly rounded edge and it just it just gives a really nice finish to a project all right and so for the crab stitch you just keep working 
all the way around your border, uh, putting one reverse single crochet or crab stitch into each single crochet. Again, if you opted not to do the single crochet border, you would just put one crab stitch into the top of each double crochet and two into your chain three sections. Um, if you were working a crab stitch on a different pattern, uh, you would just have to figure out how you wanted your border to go and just space them out evenly. All right, I'm gonna continue working the crab stitch all the way around my blanket. And when I get to the end, I will show you how to close it up. Okay, so since I am using the Brunette Blanket Stripes yarn for this, um, I don't have full balls of all of my colors. Um, so when I started this, I started with the dark blue and I worked around and it was clear that I was gonna run out of my dark blue yarn. So I switched colors. Um, so I have one side in dark blue, then light blue, then back to dark blue, and now a light blue row. Because of where I started this stitch, I'm gonna have to switch back to dark blue around this corner so that it matches all of the rest of my corners. Um, and then I will join. So I'm actually only gonna be switching for about three stitches or so, and then I will join. But I just thought I would show you how to do the color change real quick with the crab stitch. So I'm ready to make my next stitch and I wanna do the color change with this stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook, draw up a loop of my current color, and then I'm gonna set my project down. I am going to grab my dark blue yarn, make a slip knot, and now instead of yarning over and uh, picking up another loop to make a single or to make the crab stitch, um, I am going to put my slip knot on there, tighten it up, and draw it through to make the crab stitch. And then I make sure that I'm working with the correct color yarn and that I don't have the tail, that I've got the working end. And I just continue working with the dark blue. And so I'm just gonna make these last two stitches. All right, so I've made my last few stitches. The color changes right here around the corner where I wanted it to. I'm gonna make my final crab stitch. And now I'm ready to join to this. And you can try and pick that stitch up backwards um, and do this join like that. I think it's a little bit easier to turn your work around and do this from the wrong side of the crab stitch, but the right side as if you were working regular single crochets and pick your stitch up from this side. Um, and then just slip stitch like you would normally. And then I always chain one to finish my project I snip my yarn and then just pull it all the way through and tighten it up. When I sew this end in, you've got a little bit of a gap because I turned that project around. I'm just going to sew in this direction and close that this little gap right here, right up. For the color change, um, I will go back and actually I need to snip my yarn here. For the color change, I will go back and tie these ends together, um, just in a little knot. You don't have to do that, but I just, I like my ends to be nice and secure. Um, and then just sew all of your ends in. So there's the crab stitch border. You can see the color change in between. And again, I've just got that little gap that I'm gonna close up when I sew it up. So I am going to sew all my ends in and I will show you uh, the very final product in just a second. All right, and so now all my ends are sewn in. You can see all my corners are uh, nice and clean. I've sewn all my ends in so that the uh, they won't come undone when it's washed and dried. 
Uh, and you can see the crab stitch just makes for a really nice look on the edge of the blanket. It's a very different texture than people are used to seeing with crochet. Um, I think it reminds me of cording around a pillow um, or a surged edge. So I'm really happy with the way that this edge turned out. If you have any questions about the crab stitch or this blanket, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit subscribe so that you get notifications about future crafting videos. Thanks for watching.